obviously, one of the most important things I have to tell you is skincare from the age of 16 is absolutely vital. You will then have, honestly, much better skin throughout your entire life. I'm going to move, but now I'm going to move in with Georgina. I'm going to move into the most amazing product, which is called the Sublimage La Creme. And this is the really nourishing, will really feed the skin. So I'm going to start by putting this on Georgina's face. I always take a really generous amount um, and then just literally massage it in. Just massage it in. Do this to yourself twice a day. Just massage the product in. Go around the eyes. Okay, this is really important. Go around this way. Or better still, tap it on the eyes this way. Never, like, really pull it. Never pull the skin because you'll, that will encourage the wrinkles. So just really tap it in. Tap it in this side. Massage it in so it feels great. Stretch it over your mouth. Just be, just treat your face. You know, we, your face loves to be touched. So don't be frightened to touch your face and rub it and scrub it and do all these things. So it'll, you know, it'll energize it. Moving on to the eye cream. You know, this is a product that, that is so important because it really does help the tissue around the eye. The eye tissue is much more sensitive than like, for example, on the cheeks or something. So really make sure you use an eye cream, patting that in. And you know what? It will soak in. So don't worry if you think that I'm using an awful lot. It will soak in. And especially with older skin, it does soak in. So just apply it. And then if you have the advantage of being able to leave it for two minutes before moving on in the morning, that's even better. And these products are both for night and day, by the way. Just put a little bit on the top lid as well, just a little bit. But most important, the most important part is actually around here where one does get wrinkles, just around here. So now we're going to use my favorite product, which is the CC Cream, Complete Correction SPF 50. I want you to really deeply understand how important it is to use SPF these days, and the higher, the better. So 50 is amazing. Um, you know, all the redness, the patchiness, the dryness, the flakiness, the, the little wrinkles that develop from not wearing sunblock. This is true, it happens. So please use this every day, no matter how old you are, especially as it's a tinted moisturizer. And in some cases, is enough to act as the foundation. It might be the case with Georgina, so let's find out. So I put some on the back of my hand, and now I'm just going to start like blending it across the skin. Now I know I have a lot of um, people saying that I use way too much product. Okay, I do this on purpose, and I want you to see the product actually going on, and then I'm going to blend it in. So don't worry, I'm using a lot for your benefit, so you can actually see it blending in. Massage again, massaging this into the skin. And by the end, the skin will look so amazing and so beautiful. This is great coverage already. And then work it through. So I'm using, always use my fingers. It's a lovely glowy product. So Georgina, at the end of this video, will have the most amazing glowy skin. That is the idea and the intention. Glow adds up to youth, right? What you don't want to look like is you've got dry, dehydrated skin at any age. Especially nowadays, modern makeup really is all about glow. Into the hairline and then a little bit down the neck because we don't want to have any of that definition that people sometimes, that actually doesn't happen very much anymore. I think we've all spoken about this enough for people to realize they have to take their foundation or tinted moisturizer a little bit down their neck. Tap it a little bit over the eyelid, just so it's sort of even all over the face. I have to say with Georgina's skin, this is almost enough, but I will use a tiny bit of foundation on top around the nose where there's still a little bit of redness. If any of you think this is too pale, just know I'm going to bring the warmth into her face with other products. So I'd rather skin, bring the skin down and then build it up rather than have something dark that you then have to play with because it's already slightly darker than the décolleté. And in fact, as you can see, this is matched perfectly, even though it seemed to be look very white at the beginning. Now that we've massaged it in, it looks great. Now we're going to do a little bit of concealer and a little bit of foundation on top taking Le Beige Foundation, which is the new one by Chanel. So what's happened is Chanel have been very clever. They've kind of gone, you know, it used to be just two, three. They now have colors in between, which are really good. This is two, two, which is slightly rosier. And in fact, that is going to be very pretty on Georgina because she has quite, she has, Georgina has no olive in her skin. Tap that in through here. Tap, tap, tap. Tap it on the chin a bit. Tiny bit on the forehead just here. I'm just going to now put a bit of lip balm on Georgina's mouth. I mean, it's not dry, but I just want to give it a bit more nourishment. So we're putting a little bit of lip balm on.
Now I'm going to go into the concealer under the eyes. This is a very, very important product. It's just going to lift the entire eye area. Again, people say, why do you use so much concealer? There's a really good reason for it. I love to get this, this concealer and literally sweep it under the eyes. This is for everybody. Okay, sweep. And I'm gonna do the same the other side. Sweep. Okay, that is... A, and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tap it in. Now, the thing is, when you get older, you need to use products that probably soak into the skin more easily than the thick foundations. So that's why these ones are really good. They're cream foundations, which will help. They'll, they'll, they'll sort of blend into the fine, fine lines that we might have when we get older. The thick foundations are always great, of course, to cover up any blemishes or whatever. But please don't use a thick foundation under your eyes. Keep it a fine one like this one. And you know what? I'm hoping you, you all realize that actually the skill and the method and the way one applies makeup to older skin is exactly the same as the way you apply it to younger skin. There is no difference. Now, what I don't want to do is close the eye up. If you get this concealer very much into the roots of the lashes, you're inclined to close up the eye. So I want to come down by just by a centimetre, just so the eye is left open. And also, if you put it too close to the eye, you're still going to have the darkness through here. So what you're really trying to do is lift the area through here, not directly under the eyes. Does that make sense, guys? So it's sort of through here that's the most important place, literally through here. So through here. What's happening now is the whole face looks uniform, okay? It looks even and uniform, and it's starting to look very, 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 which is what I want. It looks very uniform, and it's almost like smoothed out everywhere and sort of almost with no expression to it just like perfect skin now we're going to start adding the texture of the skin and bring life to the skin so i'm going to start by using the le beige powder this is in number one it's the palest and i want to just put i just want to get rid of the shine just around georgina's nose just on her forehead here where it's never becoming to have shine no matter what okay so i'm just going to do, go around here with the brush there you go, you just see I can knock back the shine just where we wanted it to be knocked back. You do not need to start contouring your face when you get older, please, please, please don't. If you have amazing bone structure like Georgina does, that's fantastic. If you don't, don't worry about it. No one's going to expect you to look like a contoured face after a certain age, let's say 35, 40. Really, I really genuinely mean that. It's, it's a very um, aging look, in fact, so be careful. Everyone, you know, looks at the brush and says, oh, this is what it was supposed to be used for. It doesn't matter. Use them however you want and however they work for you. And I'm going to just come down the side here with this brush. So I'm really blending this powder into the forehead, bring, bringing colour into the face. Okay, then I'm going to do the same this side. Round, 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 up, up, up. Keep going, rub, rub, rub. It's like rub. It's like you feel like you're rubbing it in, really, with a brush. I need a bit more this side, onto the chin. Now you can see her skin is looking amazing. Okay, right, so now I'm gonna use blush. I'm gonna use a very, very, very gentle blush. This will just add a tiny bit more warmth and color to the skin. It's called Rose Initial. It's got a lovely kind of like slight shimmer to it, as you can see. So I'm just gonna put a teeny weeny bit of this just literally in a very youthful place, which is just there. Okay, it's just there. That's, that's where I wanna do it, so it's very gentle. And the same the other side, just there. Literally just on the cheek here. So what's happening is that actually this tiny bit of blush can be very useful. Um, it'll make her look very fresh. So now I'm gonna move on to the eyes. I'm gonna do a very, very, very gentle makeup. It's not about you know, looking like you've been really made up. This is like, this is your day makeup if you like. So I'm going to move on to a palette which would be really beautiful on Georgina, very natural, very soft, very appropriate. So taking my favorite brush, which is number 10, I love this brush, it's called concealer, whatever. It's For me it's a perfect eyeshadow brush, okay? It's amazing. It's just the right thickness, the right length, the right everything, it's great. So now I'm taking this, I'm going to use these four colors. I'm going to use this pale sort of soft apricotty one and I'm just going to put it a little bit under the brow here. There we go, that's all I'm doing. And then I'm gonna take this lovely taupe and I'm gonna use the same brush because there's so little color on it. And all I'm gonna do is just sweep this across the eyelid. Ooh, that was quite a lot. Okay, well I'll use my finger because I like my fingers even better than brushes. 
and just smudge that in. Now, because I, this is a brand new product, I actually hadn't tested how brilliant the transfer was. So that was wonderful. So I can just smudge, I can do the same thing. I can make the same mistake twice and then smudge it in with my finger. That's all I want to do, just that tiny effect of eyeshadow, yes? If you're doing a really soft, glowy makeup, honestly, you don't need many tools. It's a, they, you become reliant on them and they, um, they get dirty. Um, all these things. So, you know, any time you want to use your fingers in makeup, as far as I'm concerned, is absolutely fine by me. There's nothing better to blend with, especially when you're going for one of his glowy looks. If there was precision, no, then of course you would use brushes. What's wonderful about this palette is that it has the effect of cream eyeshadows. Um, because they're slightly, they're wonderfully shimmery, they're slightly shimmery, some more than others, obviously, in the palette. Um, like this one is quite high shimmer. Now, this means that they will have the effect of cream eyeshadows, but they will actually last longer. So I advise people over 50 to use maybe powder eyeshadows applied with your fingers, so you can get that softness, but it'll definitely stay put all day. So when you get to be 50 plus, you know, probably actually a little bit of shimmer is really becoming. I'm not talking about like high glitter, but shimmer is divine. So this is why these sort of shimmers work so well. Um, they just lift the eyes. They seem to lift everything a bit. You know, shimmer is everywhere in makeup these days. So why, because you're over 50, should you not use it? You should use it and it works really well. So that's that, I love this palette. So now I'm just going to lift the tiny little Outside corner, close my darling, just there, with the darker color, look, the darker one, okay? I'm just gonna lift the outside corner, just fraction, but so fractionally, underneath on the other side too. I'm not gonna put any color underneath at all. I just want to leave it like that, that really simple. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of brown mascara on. Brush these through very gently. It's amazing what mascara does. I can't live without mascara. Look at the difference between one eye and the other. It's just amazing. Uh, moving on to the lips. Natural makeup, remember, just day gorgeousness, right? Moving on, I'm gonna use these, which are divine. They are the Rouge Coco Stilo pens. They're amazing, they're incredibly moisturizing. They're somewhere between a lip balm and lipstick and a lip gloss. And you can literally just swipe this across, then rub it in, go for it. Just like you would a lip balm, keep going. So you get that lovely feeling of it being spread all over your mouth. Take this and I'm just gonna brush them through just a weeny, weeny bit. Georgina has made the mistake that I made, which is to pluck your brows way too much when you're young. So you end up with no brows. Right, darling? Yeah. <laughs> I did it too. All that's left for me to do now on this very simple makeup is to put a tiny bit of powder under the eyes, just a set just to set the um, eye area. Taking my favorite brush, which is called a foundation brush, and just using this to then go into little nooks and crannies like through here. Not right up into the eye, but just, just through here to knock back just that little bit of unbecoming shine. It'll just lift the eye, it'll make the eye look more um, finished. That would be the word, in fact. It's a finishing powder. But this is also a very good foundation brush, by the way, because it has the ability to go to the nooks and crannies. And then actually I'll just take it around the nose, you see, there you go, around the other side, there. And then just a little bit here, even though I put the little beige here before. And that's kind of pretty much it for a really natural, beautiful look. I mean, you know, it's also beautiful. That's all you need, that's all you need.